guys and welcome back to our highlights from our game against Paul Town. The day prior to the game we would see a monumental change for Paul as manager Matt Tubbs had handed in his resignation, seeing a new management team put in place for the Gosport game. And like most teams who appoint a new gaffer, Paul had the new manager bounce back with the visitors starting out on the front foot. Lowe's dispatched a deep ball into Holmes who did well to make space for himself, later firing a shot into the side netting. Man in form, Rafa Ramos nearly made it four goals in the last three on the 22nd minute. Like last week, the attacker managed to work himself in the box before taking a shot, seeing a shot phase past the pool post. But on the 35th minute, we were dealt a huge blow as Joe Morrison saw red. Receiving a yellow prior in the game, a challenge committed in the centre of the park saw Morrison giving his second booking and was sent to the touchline. And if things couldn't have gotten any worse on the stroke of half time, Paul broke the deadlock. Resilience from Rose allowed for the attacker to snatch a ball from the borough defence and with the ball he sent Holmes through on goal, with Holmes slotting an effort past Stewart and giving Paul the lead just before the half time whistle, with it finishing Gosport nil. Paul Town won. Getting straight into the second half, Paul cushioned their lead as they made it two. An in-swinging cross aimed at the back post picked out former Gosport man Jake Scrimshaw. Haunting his former side, the attacker sliced a volley past Stewart to make it 2-0. Super substitute Dan Wooden had something to say about this as upon entering the pitch he got a goal. Tarbuck winning the ball saw the winger put a cross into the centre of the box, meeting the run of Wooden who headed home to get a goal back for Borough. On the 73rd minute it was pure frenzy in the Borough box, ultimately resulting with Lowe's taking a shot on the edge of the box and being deflected out for a corner ball. Both sides would eventually finish the game with 10 men as Paul also saw a red card. Following the time wasted along with backtrack to the referee, it's all right get his second yellow and later seen a red. But in the end, the suspension was too late within the game as it had no effect with it finishing Gosport 1, Paul 2. This game stops Paul's seven game winless streak and for Gosport it's our second consecutive loss at home. We're away at Hazen Yedden this Saturday, but final words from me, of the Borough.